The groomsman star Tyler Hines was aided by this Chiefs star. Welcome to my channel, Hallmarks Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now let's get started. Actors and actresses put their bodies through more than you might realize to provide top-tier entertainment. Tyler Hines has showcased his skills in numerous roles with one of his upcoming appearances in the Groomsman trilogy. Hines is also slated to appear in Holiday Touchdown, a Kansas City Chiefs love story. During the filming of The Groomsman, Hines sprained his thumb. The injury followed him to Kansas City while he was filming his next project. It was here that Hines had a run-in with an icon in the Kansas City Chiefs organization who helped Hines and his injured thumb. Which Kansas City Chiefs star helped Tyler Hines rehab? Football fans know Nicole Hardman from his time catching passes from Patrick Mahomes. In fact, Hartman was the receiver who caught the game-winning touchdown in overtime of Super Bowl LVII against the San Francisco 49ers. It appears Hartman might also have a career in the athletic training field once he hangs up his cleats for retirement. In an exclusive with U.S. Weekly, Hines says Hartman assisted him at the first game Hines went to. Hines explained, Anyone who's ever dealt with a sprained thumb knows how excruciating the pain is and how challenging completing everyday tasks is. Hines professed that Hardman simply walked up and started to work on it. He said, It's clear Hines is thankful for the assistance Hardman provided. In college, Hardman studied entertainment and media studies during his time at the University of Georgia. However, as a football player, it's not shocking that Hardman knows what it takes to efficiently heal an injury. Mecole Hardman's football career has been amazing. Aside from helping Hollywood's best with their injuries, Hardman has had an amazing football career. He's won three Super Bowl titles with the Kansas City Chiefs, and he's been an integral part of their dynasty. He made the Pro Bowl in 2019 and is still catching passes for Mahomes as the Chiefs aim to become the first NFL team to win three Super Bowls in a row. Hardman can rest easy knowing he's been helpful to other people in the world, just like Hines. Arguably, the most heartwarming detail is that Hardman didn't brag or boast about what he did. He simply helped Hines out of the goodness in his heart. What are your thoughts on McCall Hardman helping Tyler Hines? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For Tyler Hines, a seasoned Hallmark favorite known for his rugged charm and quick wit, the Groomsman was meant to be another fun, heartwarming project in a long line of romantic comedies. Yet this film was different, not just because it had a fresh, buddy-centric take on romance, but because it led to a surprising friendship with none other than Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kels. As Hines recalls, the two met by chance at a charity event in Los Angeles. It was one of those random things where you don't expect much more than a handshake and a hello Tyler shares, laughing. But what started as a polite conversation about sports and movies quickly evolved into something much bigger. Kels, known for his charisma on and off the field, was quick to express his admiration for Hallmark movies, much to Heinz's surprise. I didn't peg him for a Hallmark guy, Heinz jokes, but he started talking about how his family watched the movies during the off-season, and he dropped references to movies I didn't even know were mine. The laughter, camaraderie, and shared sense of humor between the two sparked a connection that would eventually impact Hines' performance in The Groomsman. 2. The football star's role in The Groomsman While the Chiefs' tight end was never on set, his influence on Hines was unmistakable. When the two exchanged numbers and began chatting regularly, Kels quickly became Hines' unexpected mentor, offering not just fitness advice, but personal insight into teamwork and the pressure to perform. When we were prepping for the groomsmen, I was feeling the pressure because this was the first time I was part of an ensemble cast in a Hallmark film, Heinz explains. Kels's support during that time was invaluable, even if unconventional. He would call me before filming days and just go, all right, Heinz, today's like the playoffs. Show up and show out. He brought this whole team mentality into my head and it genuinely helped. Kelsey's energy, resilience, and knack for captivating audiences translated into Tyler's character on The Groomsman. He jokes that it was like having an NFL coach on the sidelines of a romantic comedy. And Kels, equally amused, encouraged him to bring a little more swagger to the character of Sam, 
who finds himself in over his head at his friend's wedding. Tyler's character in The Groomsman evolved into someone with a little more grit and charisma. Traits Hines attributes directly to Kelsey's influence. I wanted Sam to have that confidence and that inner toughness, Hines recalls. Travis gave me pointers on how to bring that mindset to my role, to make Sam someone who, while dealing with love and romance, also has this depth and resilience. In one pivotal scene, Sam confronts his fear of losing his best friend's respect after a misunderstanding. The vulnerability mixed with a self-assured presence was inspired by a candid conversation Tyler had with Kels. Travis told me, A true friend never bails, even when it's hard. You stand up, you communicate, and you fight for the people you love. It stuck with me, and I used that in the scene. With Kels's guidance, Heinz brought a newfound complexity to the character, blending Hallmark's traditional warmth with a spirit of loyalty and friendship that resonated with audiences. The result was an instantly relatable character whose layered emotions felt grounded and sincere. 4. Training Day From Set to Stadium Between Heinz's filming schedule and Kels's training regimen, finding time to hang out wasn't easy. But eventually, the actor found himself in Kansas City, visiting Kelts during off-season training. Heinz describes the experience as like being in another world. He saw the dedication, strength, and commitment that went into the football star's life, and it left a lasting impression. I thought I was in decent shape, but Travis took me through a few drills, and I could barely keep up. Heinz laughs recounting how he tried a sprinting drill, only to be left breathless after a few minutes. Kelsey's encouragement pushed him further, giving him a new appreciation for discipline and endurance. This intensity spilled over into Tyler's preparation for the groomsmen. Inspired by Kelsey's dedication, he took his role as Sam to a new level. Hines dedicated extra hours to rehearsing, fine-tuning his scenes, and finding ways to make his character's journey resonate more deeply. It wasn't just about looking good on screen, he explains. I wanted every interaction Sam had with his friends to feel like you were right there with them, rooting for their journey as much as your own friends. 5. The bromance takes center stage. As the friendship grew, so did the mutual admiration. Kelts would send Heinz supportive messages after filming updates, and Heinz, in turn, made it a point to attend Kelts' games whenever he could. Tyler, now an honorary Chiefs fan, recalls the thrill of watching his friend play live. It's like watching a lion in the wild, he says. The man commands the field, and seeing that side of him made me respect him even more. Their camaraderie began to take on a life of its own, much to the delight of fans who caught wind of the unlikely friendship on social media. A few playful exchanges between the two celebrities on Twitter fueled speculation that Kels might make a cameo in an upcoming Groovesman sequel and Heinz doesn't rule it out. It would be a dream to bring him on board, Tyler admits. His energy is infectious, and I think he'd bring a whole new level of fun to the story. This shared journey led both men to realize they had impacted each other in unexpected ways. For Kels, it was a chance to tap into a new side of his personality, while Heinz found inspiration that extended beyond his career and into his personal life. 6 the lessons learned, and lasting influence. As the groomsmen wrapped filming, Heinz knew that his friendship with Kels had not only influenced his performance, but had also left a profound mark on him as an individual. He'd seen firsthand the power of resilience, dedication, and the unyielding importance of staying true to oneself, values Kels embodies both on and off the field. I think the biggest lesson he taught me is that no matter what role you play, whether it's on the field, in a film or in life. You give it everything. That's what he does every time he steps onto that field, and that's what I tried to bring to the groomsmen. Heinz shares thoughtfully. Kelts, too, had been inspired by Heinz's passion for storytelling, often describing how much he respected actors for their ability to create emotion and connection. It's incredible what he does. Kelts commented in a recent interview. He brings something real to every role, and I think that's why we clicked. We're both about showing up, putting in the work, and making it meaningful. 7. A future collaboration on the horizon? With the overwhelming success of the groomsmen, both Heinz and Kels have toyed with the idea of working together in a more official capacity. Whether it's a cameo in a groomsmen sequel, 
a new series, or even a sports-centered Hallmark movie. The possibilities are endless, and fans are here for it.